struggling to get pregnant can take an emotional toll on a couple. Yeah, infertility can happen to anyone, even Olympic champions. Our health reporter, Bianca Castro, sat down with gymnast Carly Patterson, who is opening up about her struggles. Bianca? Yeah, so today, Carly is 14 weeks pregnant, but it took more than two years for she and her husband to achieve that pregnancy, and the journey wasn't easy. But she's talking about it to offer hope to other couples going through similar struggles. <laughs> Every detail of her growing child. It's like you can even see like the nose. Is worth the more than gold for Olympic medalist Carly Patterson. I just want that big belly bump so I know that it's, <laughs> you know, it's there, it's in there. She says getting pregnant wasn't in any way what she and her husband had imagined. Well, we were kind of just thinking that it was going to happen just easily. No problem because all of our friends we were watching just get pregnant right away. But after a year had passed, Carly went in for testing and learned she had a medical condition called polycystic ovary syndrome and it was keeping her from getting pregnant. Did you at any point feel that the body that took you to the Olympics <laughs> was letting you down? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the perfect way to put it. This, this body that had, you know, achieved a gold medal at the Olympics, you know, one of the, the toughest things you could ever do. Um, you know, this body that was constantly working with me, I guess, um, was at this point failing me. And yeah, that was, that was difficult. When PCOS hits, unfortunately, it does cause that inability to ovulate. But Dr. Lowell Koo, medical director at Dallas IVF, says while PCOS can be a common fertility problem, available solutions can be risky. With treating polycystic ovary syndrome, sometimes there's an increased risk for miscarriage, and some patients may develop that. Carly miscarried after her first round of artificial insemination, but eight months later, they tried again, and success. I just want my story to be something that's encouraging and uplifting and hopeful that we went through those really difficult hard times but now we're on the other side and we have our sweet little blessing on the way. And it is National Infertility Awareness Week and doctors told us today that one in eight couples is diagnosed with infertility every day. Carly by the way is due in October. Uh. The gender is Yay. a surprise, so they will find out when the baby comes whether it's a boy or a girl. I love her. It takes a lot of courage to go on TV yeah. and talk about that. So yeah. good, good for Carly. Yeah, it really it's a does. sensitive time. We've followed her for so long since like 2004. What's she up she to these baby, days besides right? this? Right, this is kind of a big deal. <laughs> yeah. um, so she's coaching still. Uh, she's going to start traveling again. Mm -hmm. But once baby comes, she's going to stay put for good. a while and right. take care of the baby. Oh. Congratulations. Yeah. We're having yeah. wish her the best. She's going to be a gold medal mom. Yes, she will. <laughs> Thanks.